this one um because obviously i'm gonna go for my surgery if you've watched the last few vlogs you would have noticed that i've been wearing my glasses and that's because today i am going for my eye surgery and getting dressed in a little bit knowing that this is probably the last time that i'm gonna be wearing my glasses Ah, oh, it's so crazy, so surreal. I've been wearing contact every single day for, I would say like the past four or five years or so. I can't quite remember, but yeah, I'm so excited to have a good eyesight and this is going to be like the whole process of it because I know some of you might be interested in it so I will touch on everything I did a little post this morning to ask you if you have any questions so that I can touch on everything in this vlog but for now I'm gonna get dressed Goodness. so for my outfit today I just want to be comfortable but still I don't know kind of feel and look cute but just mainly be comfortable I'm gonna take the scarf in case it's a little bit cold in the procedure room or like the operating room i got this cute little um basic from forever new this is also from forever new but i wore it over the weekend um if you've watched that vlog and then i'm just gonna wear some leggings they're very comfy and like simple it's not really cold <laughs> um but i don't know if i'm gonna get cold so i just have this it's not that hot actually and then i just have my hair clip and um i have makeup wipes i don't have any makeup on but i just want some in case and then i have my scarf and just like lip balm and just to have a bag so yeah this is my outfit find the pamphlet explaining how the procedure works and everything okay. and then you have a little chocolate for yourself oh, just for okay. you to take it before you go in and there's a beautiful of sunglasses. pair of sunglasses oh, thank yes, you. You. all right okay, so get okay. prescription and if I try So we just did the last little test. So we're gonna see what Dr. Katia is gonna say if I'm gonna do LASIK or PRK. We should head on back before the day breaks. There's a shadow race and all the heartaches. Only you and I will last forever. How are you feeling? Tired? Mm. Not good sleep? How did you feel when you just took your... That's it? Valuate? Yeah. 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 Oh, these eye drops make my eyes feel so warm. That's fine, 
That's all right. <laughs> That's how you choose to remember it. If only we could capture it and it's glow. But no, I said myself. Light sensitivity. <laughs> you know what it feels like? You know when someone poked you in the eye and you can't like look at the light? That's what it feels like. But yo, 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 yo. My eyes are closed and even like the slightest light coming into this scarf is like ah! it's like the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We're going home now. Ne? Yeah, almost there. Almost there. Going home. So just got home. Put Jess in a quick shower. Hello. Hello, Tato. Don't open your eyes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously the biggest thing is the light. Mm -hmm. Our eyes are quite sensitive to the light at the moment. And we don't have curtains yet, so... <laughs> We can't really block Worst it out. Worst idea ever. <laughs> so uh, she's in bed. I'm gonna have a quick shower and then probably get her something to eat or just get some snacks. Love you, my angel. Good morning. Diet. Oh. Uh, I can't really open my eyes properly. <laughs> the lighting's still at this bit though. But I can see. And the light's not bothering you that much? It's a little bit bright. This one is very blurry. Um, but I can see. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow. A little bit sensitivity to the light, but it's not that bad because it's quite early still. We have to. Get up, get dressed, and head back to Dr. Kutsia. He wants to see my eyes and see how they are. And then we're gonna come back home. You'll see clear through the smoke you created. I feel my feet on the ground and they're shaking. How am I supposed to say?
one is for pain and swelling and one is like antibiotic and one is antibiotic but it it burns i think only for a few seconds um you obviously have to put them in but you know that's the worst part for me Ooh, my eyes are fine up until i put those drops in this morning <laughs> By the door. No, I can't see until I feel your touch. I'm blind if I'm blind. What you looking for? Hmm? Hmm? What's it? What you looking for? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I fall behind, fall behind every time that you're around And it's a lie, it's a lie when I say that I'll be fine Chicken burger, some of my strips, the pie. Oh, I need my medication. Oh. It's been about two hours, you can have the drops as well. Yeah, I've just been editing my eyes, we're fine, <laughs> and all of a sudden, woo! Just shut my eyes and see through my mind. I can see. Pista. <laughs> a place in dodgeball, dodge, duck, School goes to school to get smarter so they can get a job. You already have a job. So it's like, give me a step. I can't go on. I can't even. I can't even be seen in my cover. Give me just a kick, me. The clothes in the middle. The lawn's looking a little brown. You think? You think J Lo has a brown lawn? <laughs>
again. <laughs> Going to Dr. Kutsia again. Um, I have these like rings <laughs> from the face shield. So you have to sleep with them on. But you also can't get your face wet. So I'm just like refreshing up or like freshening up with a little makeup wipe. I'm not wearing any makeup. Good job. Have another appointment. It's been like a day. I've just been like resting yesterday. My eyes aren't really that sensitive today. But I'm gonna wear my sunnies. We're gonna go to Santa Night Clinic again. off today no not really i have to like really concentrate okay do you see any letters in that row y i see h are back from Sands and Eye Clinic and also a quick little grocery run for dinner tonight. I've really been craving like a lemony chicken pasta. So we have chicken, we have the lemon, we have the pasta. If you haven't tried um, the fresh pasta from, from Willie's, I highly recommend it's like soft because it's fresh. You get it in the uh, fridge section. Some herbs, a little um, tea time treat brain really likes these ones and then i got this new tea chamomile lavender and vanilla i have a tea obsession babies see what i mean <laughs> i have a tea obsession i love my tea drawer and my coffee drawer so we have all of the pods we have some hot chocolate like all of the vanilla and like the syrups and the honey but yeah i thought i would show you that <laughs> So we have a new one to the collection. Instead of um, cream, I wanted to try this with the pasta tonight, some cheese, and then um, some blueberries and grapes. I try and only do like two fruit per week, otherwise they go to waste. But yeah, that's a little grocery haul. shower with my goggles <laughs> it's the weirdest thing ever and i have to sleep with them as well but i wanted to show you i keep all of my meds i don't use the pain medication anymore and i also don't use these drops anymore but i got drops and um like still pain before i sleep or whenever i have pain and then i need to finish these drops which is basically like your antibiotics and then i've been putting this in my eye eyes as much as possible because Dr. Kutsia says that my eyes are a little bit dry so he prescribed this to me today um, to put in before I go to bed so I'm gonna make myself a tea and put my goggles on <laughs> again and just like snuggle up and go to bed early it's like literally eight o'clock oh my goodness Hello, Libby's. 
it is a one week post up today and i'm feeling amazing honestly it's been a life-changing week i could actually see that same evening i got the procedure done and then the next morning when i woke up as you saw like i was just in awe i was like what and it's like that every single morning i haven't vlogged the past few days because i haven't been doing much i've just been resting um being very gentle on myself i've been trying to like edit here and there which um i've had a couple of questions on screen time yes you can like be on your phone you can watch tv if you're comfortable to do so i try to like edit on the second or the third day and yeah i edited for a little bit and then i had to like rest my eyes so i just listened to my body i slept a lot over the past few days it was a bit uncomfortable with the like face shield but i don't have to wear it anymore because it is a one week now and um i've been showering with it i've been bathing with it i've been sleeping with it just to like protect the eyes not to get like any moisture or like water in it or like soap when you shower or whatever and um, not to bump it when you sleep but yeah tonight i'm not gonna sleep with the face shield we'll see though because i'm still so scared to like bump my eyes because sometimes i just i don't know what i'm doing in my sleep sometimes so um yeah we are gonna be washing the hair for the first time in like probably like 11 days because i washed it just a few days before the surgery and then obviously it's been like eight days just over a week um so yeah i'm gonna i think i'm gonna wear my my little shield just in case um and then the next time when i wash my hair i will just try and be careful and then we're gonna put makeup on um i could actually start wearing makeup after like a day or two you can go back to normal after a day or two i stopped using my pain medication after three days um i'm completely off like the pain drops i'm nearly finished with my antibiotics drops and then obviously i just have the normal solution and the gel drops that i put in in the evenings but other than that it's amazing like i cannot tell you how amazing this feels to be able to like see everything without putting glasses on or like contacts and it's just like how can how can it be my eyes like it is insane um but yeah let me not keep you any longer i have a lot to do i have campaign to shoot and everything so i'm gonna shower we can get ready together and do like makeup and stuff Now I'm just so 
overly cautious with my eyes because I don't want anything to go wrong. I'm obviously still healing and it's like the first time I'm putting makeup on since having the surgery done. Then putting the makeup on was absolutely fine. Like I think taking it off was a bit stressful for me because obviously with mascara you're kind of rubbing the eye and I was so scared to like rub it too hard and potentially like moving something <laughs> I don't even know. You obviously saw with the actual procedure like lifting that small little flap lasering it and then putting it back so I was scared to like move that piece and that's obviously like why you sleep with these goggles and like showering with them to like protect your eyes I'm so excited to not sleep with it for the first night in like literally a week I don't know I may maybe I'm gonna sleep with them on still because I would rather be safe than sorry um but yeah putting makeup on was actually fine it was perfect it was even better than putting on makeup um when I used to put my contacts in before um it's just amazing like having clear eyesight you have no idea it's life-changing um but yeah i'm gonna be try i'm gonna try and be as gentle as i possibly can and not try and wear makeup but it was so nice to wear makeup again today and to have my hair clean um i'm gonna put it up properly and then take a shower and then get into bed Good morning, ladies. I'm driving myself to my appointment today. Brain has been driving me, but I'm driving myself today and I'm so excited. I think it's like my last appointment. My eyes have been incredible, apart from being a little bit dry. They've been fine. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see what um i'm excited to hear and see what um dr katia is gonna say i'm about to turn in My one eye is on zero and I think my left eye is on zero. My right eye is 0 0.25. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> for you it's literally been like a second and for me it's been a little while. I have my very very last appointment with um dr katsia in six months but i didn't want to take six months to upload this vlog and i feel like i have been recovering really well i just did my makeup i'm still in my pajamas i know and i'm doing like my bed sheets today but i feel like we've reached a different level of comfort with this vlog i mean you've spent some time in bed with me recovering obviously a little bit out of it from the pain medication but i really just wanted to bring you along for the whole process and just show you how I recover and I really hope that you leave this vlog uh, with all of your questions answered so I wanted to sit down I wanted to just touch on everything that I feel like I haven't discussed I did a little um, post to ask you if you have any questions and I got like a hundred comments and some of the questions were very similar to the ones that I had and some of them were quite repetitive so I'm making sure that I answer those ones which I've been doing my makeup 
regularly I'm really back into routine I'm taking my makeup off not as usual I'm a bit more gentle I'm not as scared as I was like soon after the procedure but today marks like a month and a week since I did LASIK and yeah, like I said I have a little while to go I know Dr. Kutsia said that I might you know run into a little dip um, between you know three to six months but I'm really sticking to putting my eye drops in because your eyes can get like a little bit dry after pr the procedure but it's improved sig significantly I mean I've been to Cape Town and I'm back um, on the airplane my eyes weren't as dry as they were with contact if I have to be honest but yeah I've really been taking care of my eyes only the first few days um, I feel like were the worst if it, they weren't even bad because I made sure that I rested a lot and just closed my eyes and just make sure that I don't run into any issues later for not resting my eyes in the beginning and I feel great like I honestly when someone asks me do I recommend getting LASIK and I'm just like why did I not do this sooner like honestly and I ha actually had that question and to be honest I was just scared I don't like these kind of things I don't like going to the dentist I don't like you know having especially like near your eyes it can be so scary but I'm here to tell you that I felt absolutely nothing the only discomfort was like the, the things that were like placed on the like bone of my eye to keep my face kind of still I thought that I would go in there pop in my earphones and just you know try and escape from the process but you have to just you have to physically you know be in the moment because Dr. Kutsia asks you to look left look right um to blink um to keep your eyes open that was the big thing like you need to keep your eyes open and what's crazy about it is like you see everything you literally see everything but you feel nothing and for me that kind of likes um thriller movies it's kind of cool because <laughs> you see like these things happening um but you don't feel a thing so it was quite interesting that i did not expect i thought that i would completely freak out but i got like a valium to just like calm myself down and i was very relaxed before the procedure so yeah um it's been a month and a week now and um it's been amazing i feel like the the most common questions that i got were cost you know procedure like what does it feel like and I tried to like explain it to you throughout the process um, and I just explained what the procedure felt like in the moment it really is like sometimes it goes black then you can't see anything and then your vision comes back again but it's nothing like super scary or uncomfortable it was quite interesting for me and for my experience so um santon eye clinic charges thirty thousand for both lasik and prk lasik and prk has the same benefits um same results but the procedures and like the recovery is a little bit different i will only be you know talking about lasik because that's what i got and then the consultation is three and a half thousand rand you can um go for a free laser screening which essentially um is to see if you are a candidate or not so you don't have to like spend the consultation and then find out you can't do lasik so you can go for that for free i'll leave like all of the details down below if you want to book a free laser screening to just see if you are a candidate so yeah you need to be a candidate for LASIK if you're not a candidate for LASIK then you will do PRK and you know in just in a nutshell it's basically just like a small ratio that all of these different machines calculate for your eyes to see if your cornea is thick enough and my personal my personal advice before going for the screening if you do wear contacts is to avoid wearing them for like a week maybe two because contacts actually affect the thickness of your cornea which happened to me I had to go for more than one screening because I wore my contacts up until like the morning of my um, screening so don't do that just wear your glasses for like at least a week and then go for your screening so you can get an accurate result if you do qualify for LASIK 
or if you should do PRK. So yeah, that is basically the cost. And then someone asked, a few of you asked actually, um, if the medical aid will cover for it. And Santa Eye Clinic is a private practice, so um, you'll have to discuss it with your medical aid and like your plan but it is deemed a lifestyle surgery so it's like a luxury so most medical aids won't but it's something that you can find out from them something you can claim is like your medication and like your consultation fees i'm pretty sure that that will be covered but again every single person is different with the medical aids and all of that but honestly it's so worth it I just thinking all of the money that I spent on contact and contact solution and eye drops I'm still gonna obviously have that expense for eye drops but over a couple of years the cost it's just it's a no-brainer for me because it's just I mean you spend so much money on contacts for me my contacts were like four five hundred rand a month basically so if you add that up over a few years and LASIK is kind of you know even cheaper over a few years because it can last you a very 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 long time each patient is different everyone's eyes are different so yeah just putting it out there i just honestly feel that it's so so worth it and um yeah my medication was like seven something which is like my pain medication and a couple of different drops that i shared with you and then i i purchased eye drops a couple of times throughout the past like month or so um what other question let me just go to my notes i wrote everything down so that i can make sure that i touch on everything oh is it painful and how long does it take so the pain honestly like i said you don't feel a thing afterwards i did experience some discomfort like sharpshoot pains maybe two or three times but the pain drops really like eased it so when you go in for the procedure you get like little uh what's it numbing drops and you don't feel a thing like you honestly don't feel a thing and the duration is like 15 minutes per eye but i feel like i i was out of there so quickly like it went by like that and then the recovery process can be you know three to six months um to fully recover from lasik i'm i'm still on my journey um but that's basically more or less how long it can take um i have another appointment in four weeks and then i have my very last appointment after the six month mark and i just love that dr Gutsia literally wants to see you so often because he wants to make sure that your flap is healing pretty well one thing you can't do is like you know like that tired baby cry eye you can't do that because you have to like you can't disrupt anything on that eye and one question that i thought that was so interesting was um if you have an astigmatism which if you don't know what it is what an astigmatism is it's basically your eyeball isn't round it's shaped like a rugby ball so i actually have an astigmatism it's something that i thought would never be possible um and also one of the things that i thought you know like i said wouldn't be possible so i never thought of actually like going in and finding out more if it is possible for me to do lasik and honestly i was just <laughs> like a scaredy cat but yeah it is actually because i have an astigmatism and i did it the process that Dr. Kutsia does is just like a little bit adjusted and um, my flap was really really thin as far as um, Dr. Kutsia shared with me because my prescription was actually not that bad. I thought I was blind but apparently there's people that that's like way blinder like my sister-in-law her prescription is like minus four and mine is minus 1.75 so I'm not that blind but let's just say I can't function without glasses or contacts I can't drive and I can't like see properly and I'm short-sighted so I can only like see like this <laughs> on my phone I can't see anything further than <laughs> than the camera basically but now I can and oh my goodness it is just like life-changing I've cried a few times um the tears are good for my eyes lubricating them a little bit but oh my goodness i am just uh, 
the experience has been incredible and I just I'm so happy that I did it it's something that I've always said I'm gonna do it before I'm 30 <laughs> and I'm turning 29 this year so I've done it it's out of the way and I can't wait to see the good side of the life without a uh, you know the need of contacts and glasses and the high maintenance and oh i'm just so excited and honestly if you're thinking of getting lasik uh, if, if you've been thinking about it this is your sign if you've been waiting for a sign i highly 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 recommend it it's one of the best things you will ever do for yourself i will leave some um references and maybe some information down below if you have any other questions i mean like anything if you don't want to post it in the comments you can dm me on instagram we can chat i love replying to you these and yeah i will see you in the next vlog very soon which will be like the cape town vlogs because I'm back from Cape Town now and it was incredible like just seeing the ocean and yeah experiencing a vacation without contacts and glasses oh just it's life-changing I, I wasn't like swimming or anything because you have to wait I think two months is it a month is it two months I think it's two months before you can actually like swim but I, I did put my feet in the water which was so nice oh, I miss Cape Town already but I'm gonna see you very very soon um thumbs up this video if you liked it leave me some love let me know if you enjoyed it even if you're not interested in LASIK let me know if you've reached this point of the vlog and then I love you so so much and I'll see you very soon Mwah! bye ladies